In this video, I created two Greek wonder kids to see if they would work together to dominate football or whether they would become rivals in the future. And the first brother is called Thomas Georgiadis. I've probably butchered that. Apologies. I'm just going to call him Thomas from now on. The 16-year-old Greek man plays for Athens in Greece. And as you can see, he is quite tall, 190 centimeters for a winger. Now, both players are wingers, but I've put them sort of half ability in the striker, in the cam, and on the other wing. So they sort of can adapt whether the managers in the future want them to. But this is the first brother. Now, the second brother, as you can see, is currently a free agent he is joining Athens in 2025 after he turns 16 and will join the youth academy he is currently 14 years old I wanted to do brothers without twins because I thought it'd be cool to see how different it is so that is him and his name is Costa Keys. I'm not going to bother pronouncing the last name ever again. I've done it once, and that's more than enough. I'm going to call this guy Costa. Costa and Thomas, the two brothers from Greece. And we're going to see how their career unfolds, where they end up, and who does better. And hopefully, someone wins a Ballon d'Or. This is my third effort trying to get one of my Wonder Kids to win a Ballon d'Or. I'm over it. Now, after the first season, you can see Thomas has had a decent season, grown to 96 current ability. Now, obviously, they always start at 80, max potential of 200. He has not made a senior appearance yet, but he had a good season in the academy. 23 games played, 7 goals with 6 assists, with an average rating of 7.57, which is fantastic. He's also made 4 under-21 caps, not scored a goal yet, but he's already in the youth team at 16. And you can also see there that his right wing position has started to develop, so clearly he's been playing there. It'll be interesting to see whether he sticks the left-hand side or switches. But as you can see as well, his weight's 71 kgs. For some reason, he's lost 28 kgs. I mean, that is quite the transformation. And now as we move into our second season, as you can see, Costa is now at Athens and he's grown seven ratings, which is pretty good. He's only been at the club for a couple months. And unfortunately, you can see here, Thomas has an injury and he's going to be out for a couple more months as well. So that's quite a big injury to have at only 18 and it is a hip injury, which is not good. But he has grown to 106 current ability, which is good. He's made his first ever senior appearance for the B team, which is not too bad, but spent a majority of his season playing in the youth academy, getting 13 goals, six assists, and having another good season. And he has managed to score his first under-21 goal with now 11 caps and two goals. And he has actually made his senior debut for Athens in the Cup, which is good. Now, Costa is obviously just recently joined and in the youth academy. He's only had six appearances, one goal, with an average rating of 7.32. And wow, whoa, next season, we've already got a transfer. Costa's had enough of Greece, and he's gone to Italy. He has signed for 8.75 million, and he has moved to the Serie A club into Milan. And he has made three under-21 appearances for Greece, yet to score. And he's had a fantastic start to life in Italy. Nine appearances in total, six goals. Fantastic start already. And as you can see, he has started to develop his positions. He can also sort of play striker and left wing. He sort of can just play everywhere. Now with Thomas, 117 current ability. Now he has managed to play a few games for the first team for Athens. Only one start in the league, two starts in the cup, but a lot of sub appearances, but yet to get his first goal in the league. But he has scored two goals in the cup. But as you can see, he's made six caps for Greece at the age of 18 slash 19, yet to get a goal yet, but he did make his debut against Saudi Arabia aged 18 for Greece, which is fantastic. And as you can see also, Athens did manage to win the Greek Super League 1 and the Greek Cup, so it's a double, a domestic double for Thomas. But he is wanted by absolutely everyone. I couldn't think of any more big clubs to put there, really. <laughs> Jesus, Man City, United, Tottenham, PSG, Milan, Inter Milan, Juventus, Real Betis, Arsenal, Chelsea, Liverpool, Newcastle. Wow. Okay, and his preferred choice is Man City. I swear to God, Man City, you ruined three of my wonder kids in the African one. I swear to God, if you take one of my Greek legends and turn them into ass, I'm not going to be happy. Me and Manchester City have beef. And another season done. I swear to God, I swear to God, Manchester City, if you ruin this guy, I'm going to hate you for the rest of my life. Oh, God, I hate this club. But first, let's look at Costa. He's made 59 appearances for some reason in the youth teams. 36 goals, 12 assists, 7.45 average rating. Fantastic from him. He's not actually made any more Greek under-21 appearances, which is quite surprising. 
But as you can see, his current ability has surpassed his brother Thomas. So maybe the younger brother is going to be better. But obviously, he's moved to Manchester City for 3.2 million. And he has actually played a game. He played off the bench in the Premier League, getting a goal, which is a fantastic start. But I don't trust Manchester City in the slightest. He's also scored his first ever international goal for the senior team. 10 appearances, 2 goals so far, with his goal coming against Ecuador. Now we are five seasons in and Costa still has a lead on Thomas. With 134 current ability compared to 129 for Thomas. Costa moved out on loan, only played eight games, but it's better than nothing and just sitting in the academy. And as you can see, he is now a natural striker. And also he has two goals for Greece and four caps for the senior side. Fantastic, he's broken into it. In terms of Thomas, he's made five appearances off the bench for Manchester City in the Premier League, but unfortunately he is still just in the academy and let's hope he does not rot there. So unfortunately for the first time that both of these players are in the national team for Greece, they haven't qualified for the Euro Football Championship, which is a shame, as they finished third in their group, six points behind Albania. Hopefully the two Greek legends can change Greece's fate in international football. Another season done, and Costa is still at Cagliari. Um, hold on a second. Has he moved there permanently? No, he's just gone back on loan there. Wow, that's actually kind of crazy. He's gone back on loan, and he's had a fantastic season in Serie B. 29 games, 17 goals, 2 assists, average of 7.25. Fantastic season for him. And they also won the league. And he got third top scorer as well, highest average rating. Did he get player of the year, I wonder? Unfortunately, he didn't win the player of the year, but he won the young player of the year. So, still bloody good. In terms of Thomas, this guy's rotting away as usual with Manchester City. They ruined my wonder kids again. Thomas with three bloody appearances in the league, four in the cup, one in Europe, but all off the bench, no starts. And again, they're not loaning him out. I hate Man City. It's also the fee's gone up to 11 million, which is interesting. He's also reached 20 national appearances for Greece. Hopefully you guys can carry them and make them play in a tournament. Would be nice. Another season done, Thomas is rotting. I'm not happy with this at all. Costa is making good progress. 154 current ability, unfortunately though, not many games this season, which is not good. That's not what we want from Costa. But he also has broken the 20 appearances for Greece. And they won the Serie A, did Inter, so that's another trophy. In terms of Thomas, it's the same shit every Wonderkid video. These guys are just Satan. <laughs> just say it how it is. They kill my wonder kids every time. I may just have to ban them from the game. The reason why we can't win Ballon d'Ors of any of our players because they just he gets stuck at Mad City. But he's up to 30 appearances for Greece. 13 goals, which is actually very good. Oh, lordy. Here we go. World Cup qualification. Greece finished second in their group and get qualified for the World Cup in 2030. It is party time. We're going to see our boys in a World Cup. And this is their group for the World Cup. Algeria, Japan, USA. I think this is possible. I'm backing them. I think they can do it. And for their first match, they drew 2 all with Japan and they bottled it after leading 2-0 against 10 men and they didn't win. That is unbelievable. Both of the brothers started on the left and the right for Greece with Costa playing a fantastic game. For their second match, they started again, but this time they lost to Algeria, which puts their World Cup journey on the line. They may not make it through the group. Costa playing well again. Thomas letting it down. Come on, where's the sevens, Thomas? Come on. And unfortunately, in their final game, they lost 2-0 to USA, which means they finished bottom of their group with one point. But this time, Thomas, I mean, I asked for a seven, he did it, and then Costa decided not to do it. Unbelievable. And Portugal ended up winning the World Cup 3-0 in the final against Germany. Okay. But obviously, another season is complete, and Costa, again, has not developed much at Inter Milan, but Thomas has had a massive season, which is what I like to see. Thomas moved on loan to Strasbourg in Ligue 1, 11 goals, 7 assists, and 28 appearances, 7.5 average rating, and he absolutely exploded in growth. Hopefully he can leave permanently, would be ideal. And he's up to 43 international caps, 14 goals, which is very good. Hold on a second! Do you see what I see? He is joining Barcelona for a free contract. Moving to Barcelona, who have just finished second and have not won the league for many, many years. They need a bit of Greece talent, I reckon. 
In terms of Costa, yeah, it's not looking good. It is not looking good for Costa. Another lack of appearances. Four starts this season, one off the bench. His development is stagnating. And now look at that. They are tied current ability, both on 163, which is interesting. Costa broke into the team a little bit more this season. Eight starts in the league, which is good. With 12 starts in total, with seven goals and one assist, with an average rating of 7.64. Fantastic. In terms of Thomas, this is what I'm talking about, Thomas. I knew you could do it. 11 goals, 6 assists in his 33 appearances in his first season for Barcelona. Fantastic. And getting 36 starts, 8 off the bench with 13 goals, 7 assists, with an average rating of 7.39 in all competitions. Unfortunately, they finished third, um, so he didn't have that much of an impact for them to win the league. But Atletico Madrid won it, which is interesting. And Thomas has hit 50 caps for Greece, 17 goals. And Greece have now qualified for the Euros as well. Back-to-back -back international tournaments for Greece and the boys. England, Norway, and Romania are in their group. Norway is going to be difficult. England's obviously going to be incredibly difficult. Can they do it? In their first game, they drew one all with Norway. But look at the stats. They really should have won. They created a lot of chances. Costa actually played striker. They've changed their formation. So a new manager's no doubtably come in. Thomas playing left mid. But look at the performances. Both on the left-hand side. And they're working wonders. And for their second game, Greece 3, Romania 1. With Thomas getting an assist and Costa getting a goal. The brothers doing what they do best. And leading Greece to victory. But unfortunately, they did lose to England. Which is really not a surprise. Costa scored, though. Costa scored. Thomas played a great game, but they did lose 2-1. But Greece did qualify in third out of their group, so they're getting their first ever taste of knockout football. But unfortunately, it is heartbreak for Greece. They got dominated. They pulled out an 88th minute equaliser, but unfortunately lost on penalties. Thomas scored his penalty. Costa did not take one, but Thomas did get an assist as well. He played a fantastic game, but unfortunately they are out. And could you believe it? Denmark won it. Denmark beat Italy in the final 1-0 to be crowned Euro champions. Okay, that's fantastic. And look at those stats now. 172, 176. Fantastic stuff. They're both growing well now. Costa breaking into the Inter team for the season. 50 appearances total. 16 goals with one assist with an average rating of 7.6. And he has also broken his 50 caps for Greece. 52 caps with 26 goals. He has been scoring for fun. And he has won the best Greek player abroad. Didn't even know this was a thing, but he's won it before Thomas. So technically, he's the better brother. Thomas having another good season at Barcelona. Basically exactly the same season as last. 48 starts, two off the bench, 15 goals, seven assists with a 7.46 average rating. Basically identical to last season. And Barcelona finished third again with Atletico Madrid going back to back. And after another season, they've both hit 180 with Costa on 186 and Thomas on 182. These are potentially going to be the highest current ability players ever in any of my Wonder Kid stuff. I think the highest was in the first one. He got about 180 or 185 or something like that. So they may just easily surpass him. But Costa having good season, 16 goals, one assist in the league with 21 goals and three assists total. He's gone back to back winning the best Greek player abroad award again. Thomas, what's happening? Hold on, last season, I did not notice this, Italian Serie A best player of the season was won by Costa. There you go. Player of the year for Costa. And it's basically the same season again from Thomas. He doesn't score much, doesn't assist much, but his average rating is incredible. And again, Barcelona finished third. Okay, so he's not really changed their sort of outcomes and trophies, that's for sure. But he did win the Spanish First Division Player of the Year, thanks to his fantastic average rating. And it is heartbreak. It is heartbreak. Greece did not qualify for the World Cup for 2034 as they finished third in their group. England and Ireland qualify ahead of them. It is heartbreaking. And Costa has hit 190 current ability, but he looks like he's unhappy. Unhappy about failing to challenge for the Serie A title. Will Costa leave? Will be interesting. But it's another fantastic season for Costa. Nearly hit the average rating of 8, which is fantastic. And he did win the Serie A player of the season. Again, two seasons out of the three. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! Costa got third in the Footballer of the Year. Wow. Been a long time since we've had a Wonder Kid hit these. Fantastic, Costa. Can you win me a Ballon d'Or, please? Thomas, on the other hand, had a very good season, potentially his best season ever by the looks of it. Another high average rating. These two are just average rating merchants. This time, Thomas bet his brother Costa to the award to win his first ever Best Greek Player Abroad award. This is really difficult to say. I've had to say it so many times before I got it right. He also went back-to-back -back in Player of the Year for Spain. These two are really good players. I'm actually confident one of them might win the Ballon d'Or, at least be nominated. 
But again, they finished third. I mean, <laughs> they just can't win the league to save their lives. So it looks like Costa did not leave. He is still 190, but Thomas is 189 and catching up. And Thomas is also unhappy about Barcelona's failure to challenge for the title as well. Costa having a fantastic season. It's not a surprise at this point. And he ended up taking back the award from Thomas <laughs> to win free. Another fantastic season from Thomas, but not as good as last season. Is he falling off? Is he about to retire? Well, he did win his third player of the year in a row, so probably not. Now, Greece did qualify for the Euros in 2036. Their group is rough, it is tough, and it is not fun. Belgium, Netherlands, and Israel for the Euro 2036. They are going to have to pull it out. Thomas and Costa are going to have to be excellent. And they started off well with a 2-0 win over Israel. Absolute dominance. With Costa getting a brace, Thomas playing at 8.2. A fantastic performance, but he unfortunately got injured. And he did not start the next match as Greece drew 1-0 to Belgium with Thomas getting a goal this time. Is his tournament over after the first game? Heartbreaking stuff. But Greece did lose 3-1 in the final game to the Netherlands with Thomas playing a fantastic game again, but Costa is nowhere to be seen. And as you can see, Greece finished second in their group. A fantastic one. Belgium drew every game. But unfortunately, England knocked them out. 3-1 winners of England. Thomas and Costa played, but Costa got injured again. He scored and then got injured straight away. Brilliant. And England beat the Netherlands 2-1 in the final to win the Euros. Finally, they won something. And the manager is Frank de Boer. He, he beat his home nation in the final. That's scummy. But in terms of our players now, they are getting a little bit old. Thomas is at 30, Costa is at 28. They are both 190 current ability, which is brilliant. Costa having a good season, 16 goals, 2 assists. And he did actually get close to some awards. He nearly won Europeans Men's Player of the Year award, finishing in third. And he actually did get nominated for the Ballon d'Or, our first player in so long to get nominated. He finished third in the nominations with Stephen Jones, the Welshman from Napoli, winning it. And he also got third in goal 50. I don't know what this is, but it's another third place. Thomas nearly got an eight rating, 7.9 free average, which is insane. He won Spanish Player of the Year four times running in Spain. Fantastic. Only Lionel Messi did it. Look at that. Messi only got four years. If Thomas makes it five years, he's the GOAT. And for an update on international appearances, they are both so close to 100 caps. 93 caps, 21 goals for Thomas, and 91 caps for Costa with 60 goals, scoring way more, but obviously he's playing up front for the national team a majority of the time. And Thomas has actually surpassed Costa, 192 current ability. Wow, he's still growing at 31. Costa having a good season again at Inter Milan. He was named Player of the Year for Serie A because Stephen Jones, the Ballon d'Or winner, is annoying. And he has reached 100 caps for Greece. Fantastic. 64 goals for Costa. He may go down. I'm going to have to look at the records. He may go down as the top cap and potentially the top goal scorer in their history. Thomas, on the other hand, so close to eight rating again. Surely he won player of the year. That'd be five player of the years in a row. Would be unbelievable. And he did manage to win the best Greek player award. Somehow someone else won it. That's actually impressive. And he's done it five in a row, five in a row. I mean, that's better than Messi. Messi couldn't do five in a row. He couldn't. Thomas can. He's the GOAT. And unfortunately, Greece bloody didn't make it again. No World Cup again for the brothers. Greece finishing his second. Must have lost like a playoff game or something. It's heartbreaking. And also, I've just noticed Thomas has become Barcelona captain, which is quite crazy. He also was appointed the captain for Greece a few years ago, but I do believe he's retired. He's still sitting on 93 caps, and he's currently not selected. I have a feeling he is retired from the national team, which is heartbreaking. He's only 31. And look at that. Thomas and Costa still slowly growing their stats a little bit here. 191 and 193. Costa, again, typical season. They're all the same. Every season's the same. He did win the best Greek player which is fantastic. And he's nearly reached 110 caps for Greece, which is unbelievable stuff. Thomas with a... <laughs> Jesus, the average rating is utterly outrageous. And he's one player of the year again. <laughs> I mean, that's six in a row. Thomas, you are a cheat code. But do you know what's funny is that neither of them have won a league title. Not one of them has won a league title. Can you believe that? It's actually unreal. And now the dropping of rating has started for Thomas, 33 years old, and his current ability has started to go down, which is a big shame. But it happens to the best players, and look at that, his average rating has dropped to 7.78, it's horrendous, and he won it again. <laughs> seven, Jesus Christ, seven years in a row he's won player of the year, and he's not been nominated for the Ballon d'Or once. 
And Barcelona don't even finish in Champions League. I actually feel kind of bad for these guys. They're not at a team that's winning titles. That's quite sad. And Costa having a fantastic season as usual. He did manage to win the Player of the Year for Syria. He also won the Best Greek Player Abroad. I'm surprised Thomas hasn't won this more, considering he's got seven Player of the Years in Spain in a row. And Costa is also up to 119 caps for Greece. Incredible player. Now, Greece have qualified for the Euros in 2040, and it is confirmed Thomas is no longer in the national team. He's been retired for about four years now, which is ridiculous, Thomas. Really poor. Costa is still going, and his group is Germany, Slovakia, and Switzerland. Can Costa do it? Take Greece further than the first knockout. And it started off great for Greece. For some reason, Costa is playing left wing, even though he's a right wing or a striker, but it is what it is, as they win 3-2 against Switzerland. And they managed to beat Germany. Can you believe that? 2-1 against Germany, which basically confirms their spot into the next round. And they actually went unbeaten with Costa getting two from the left wing with a two-all draw against Slovakia. Look at that. They topped their group unbeaten. Is this the year for Greece to finally beat one team in a knockout? The answer is no. They lost on penalties again. Costa scored. They equalized. This is exactly the same as the time they got knocked out to Portugal. They're losing and then a late goal saves them in the 87th minutes but unfortunately they lose on penalties again costa did take a penalty and scored it but they've been knocked out in the first knockout round again and now thomas and costa are getting a bit old 34 and 32 178 current ability and 185 thomas i mean it's like he's not aging absolutely brilliant player and he's won the player of the year for eight years running what pure dominance from thomas but also can you believe it it has taken so long but someone has won a league title with thomas's barcelona the captain of barcelona thomas lifting the trophy for the very first time in his career fantastic achievement and they actually also won the spanish cup against real madrid in the final to win a domestic double costa having his best scoring record in this season 19 goals his best in the league so far he unfortunately got third place in the top scorer but i'm just glad he's there and he has reached 124 caps for greece 75 goals what a servant and to be fair considering thomas is 35 cost is 33 their current ability is still very high they're still performing at a very high level thomas having another good season this guy might as well not retire at this point i swear to god if he's won it again i'm gonna lose it no the run is over the run is over no he got runner up in the spanish player of the year that is bullshit <laughs> that is a disgrace eight years running was thomas a dominant figure in spain but unfortunately that has come to an end but he did win to make up for it the best greek player abroad there you go but unfortunately, Barcelona could not win it again, finishing in fourth. Unfortunate. Costa having a good season. They always have good seasons. He, he finally won a trophy. They, they won the cup, which is brilliant. But again, they're not winning the league. Costa is yet to win a league title in a top division. And I think he has retired from international football. 124 caps. I don't think that would have increased, that would have increased more if he was playing. And we do actually have unfortunate news. Believe it or not, Costa retired. Now, I'm just going to look at his stats through the last season, but I can't believe this. He actually retired first. So these are his stats to end his career. 373 appearances, 173 goals, 34 assists. But this is only for league. Obviously, there's plenty of more goals and stuff he scored. But unfortunately, for some reason, it only shows league stats, which I wish it changed. And he ends his career 124 caps for Greece, 75 goals. All-time top goal scorer, as you can see, Costa. There you go, 75. All-time top goal scorer is Costa. Most cap player is unfortunately not Costa, as someone else has 139. And here you go, Costa retired at 33. Pretty sad, really. He got 10 trophies in his career and 10 awards in his career as well. Unfortunately, no Ballon d'Or. He got nominated, though, which is something. Retired from international football, retired in 2036. That means that Thomas retired when he was like 29. That's really sad. But Thomas's stats again, fantastic. He's still going strong. And he's done it again. He's done it again. He's back. He's, he's back with a bang. He, he took that personally. And he's won the player of the year again. And now it is over. 37-year-old Thomas is retiring. And he ends his career with a bloody good season again. He's absolutely incredible. Unfortunately, he did not win the player of the year. That's probably why he retired. Didn't even get nominated. He's had enough. But what a fantastic servant he has been for Barcelona. And you know what? Costa was a fantastic servant for Inter as well. This may be the least transfers I've ever seen in a wonder kid. They both stuck at a club. Inter didn't win trophies. Barcelona didn't win trophies. But they just stayed here the whole career. 
career. But he retires at 37, 93 caps, 21 goals for Greece. In terms of his stats, he got 181 goals, 95 assists, and 484 appearances, which is not too bad. And here you go. He also won the same amount of trophies as his brother. Both finishing with 10 trophies. He did win a few more personal awards thanks to winning nine Player of the Years in Spain. And as you can see, they're both retired, and that is going to be it for this video. Hope you all enjoyed. Like, subscribe if you did, and I'll see you boys in the next FM experiment. As I say all the time, give me ideas, give me countries you want me to make wonder kids in, and I will do them happily. <laughs>